Hello everyone, this video is a guide on how to get the S plus rank on separate ways, which is a DLC for Resident Evil 4 Remake. So this DLC is a little bit more forgiven in regards to getting the S plus rank. You've got two and a half hours and ten saves. Throughout this run, I think I used eight saves. Um, when I was commentating this, I don't think I was completely sure on how many saved I'd, saves I'd used, but... Yeah, it was eight. So bear in mind that if you're following along with me, you've got two extra saves that you can use, or you can just plan out your own saves for bits that you find tricky and whatnot. Some of the strategies I use in this run are a little bit tough to follow, but I tend to save before you need to do them. One thing I'd like to mention before I do these guides is that if you are messing up and you want to reload a save, make sure that you quit to the main menu before you load a save i'll probably mention that throughout the run but i also want to mention it here just because if you don't do that and you load either from a def screen or from the pause menu then the time gets added on to your in-game time whereas if you quit to the main menu and load from there then it only the time only counts from where you saved onwards sort of thing so you don't lose any time uh, makes it as efficient as, as a possible in regards to getting a good time on the DLC. I know lots of people really enjoyed the previous guides I've done, although I don't think that this one is as tricky as the main game. Also, I know it's taken me a while to get around to posting this guide, so if you've been patient and waited for it, thank you very much, I appreciate that. If you want to show some support to me, you can always help me out with the algorithm over here on YouTube by liking, subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff. Uh, and if you want to go a little bit further, you can follow me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash iframes. Although very soon I'm going to start streaming on YouTube, so you might want to look out uh, for those streams coming very soon. Also, I recently turned memberships on over here on YouTube, so if you want to do that, you can do that too. All right, that's enough for me. Let's get this run going. Thank you very much again for tuning in. And uh, yeah, let's get this going. Okay, so chapter one. So this fight that's coming up right away is a little bit technical, but... Uh, it's definitely doable. You can also practice because it's right at the start. But you want to select the grenade before you cue this cutscene. And as soon as you get control, you want to throw a grenade and then switch to the pistol. And do your best to shoot him in the face. Whilst you're shooting him, you want to try and back up the stairs that are right behind you. And then when you run out of ammo, instead of reloading, just switch to the SMG. Empty that into the face and you should stun him. And then you want to reload both weapons. These first couple of uh, black robes should be illusions. And the one right about there on the right should be the one you've got to shoot. After shooting him a few times with the pistol, uh, he should stun. And then you've got to spray him with the SMG when he comes close. He'll like teleport close to you. And uh, yeah, then you can finish him off. Looks a little bit technical, I know that fight. But uh, honestly, it's, it's not that bad. If you do exactly what I do, you should find that you'll get it most of the time. Sometimes things can go wrong, but because it's right at the start, you can just reset quite easily. And I've mentioned this before, in my Resident Evil 4 runs. If you mess up and you want to reload, don't load from the menu. Always quit the game and then load either your most recent save, or in this case, uh, just go back to the main menu and start a new game and do it that way. Uh, you won't lose any time if you do that. Whereas if you load from the menu going to load game it adds time on and it's not really worth doing all right so grab all the loot that i just grabbed there and then when you get control of ada here you just press shift or whatever button it is on controller and you'll zip up you want to move forward and interact with the prompt zoom in back out jump down and you don't have to take this route if you want to be a little bit quicker you can kind of just go to your left right here but the route I'm taking makes it so that you can get a little bit more loot. And we want to get as much loot as we can before we get to the second fight with Black Robe. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm talking over dialogue and stuff. There's just a lot for me to explain. I try my best to explain this stuff as I go. Um, but we move relatively fast in these runs. They are timed, although with separate ways, you've got a lot more time to get the S+. Plus. Uh, you, I think you've got like two and a half hours or something to get the S+. Plus. And this run is like an hour and 10 minutes, so don't worry about being strictly as fast as me. Um, but yeah, just get this done without alerting that enemy on the left. You want to make sure you're taking your time with the first guy and the second enemy has moved forward a little bit just because she can turn around sometimes if you're too quick. After getting all the loot down here, come up and stab this guy in the back. Get rid of him. You don't have to crouch run in these areas. 
grab these two barrels and we're going to go this way and right here you've got this enemy that will start walking away from you again you don't have to sneak on it you can just run up to them as long as you're sort of doing it at the same pace as me grab the handgun bullets that are on you right there and then wait right here by the door you don't even have to crouch here just wait for this guy to come through the door and for the knife prompt to appear stab him in the back and uh get his loot get that crate come around here open up this chest get the elegant headdress get these barrels and uh yeah sorted got a good bit of gunpowder there hand grenade on the side as well we're gonna jump down get these two crates red hub pretty lucky to get a red hub before you reach black robe 2 if you do you should be in good uh in a good position when you get to that fight so right there after i grab the snipe you want to make sure you crouch just before you come out of the doorway uh that you sort of where the snipe is when you're coming back out just crouch and walk to the edge and that enemy that's down below you won't spot you and you'll have time to stab her in the back get this ruby out of the little chest come up here grab these two uh crates or one crate one barrel zip across and as soon as you land here get moving towards the ladder don't wait around because you'll probably get shot by arrows we're going to come over to the cannon get on it shoot about here with the cannon get off and then shoot this barrel run forward and then shoot this barrel and providing you do that relatively fast you shouldn't get hit if you do take any hits in this chapter it's easy enough to restart because it's a really short chapter like this is the end of the chapter right here when you get those two crates that you saw me shoot you want to be quick uh if you take too long in that area you could get hit by one of the trebuchets and that ain't good so before we move on to the next chapter i'm just going to take a moment to arrange all of my stuff where i like it you can do this in chapter one if you want but if you do it here in the typewriter it doesn't cost any time the timer is paused essentially here so you may not want stuff in the same place as me but wherever you do want them this is a good opportunity to move stuff around uh a typewriters the time doesn't keep on ticking uh, and that's basically a typewriter which is decent when we gain control of Ada here, run straight, grab this knife, stab this guy in the back. Move as quick as you can towards that guy and he shouldn't be able to spot you before you can get the knife off. We're going to zip across, shoot this barrel, wait here for a second, and then stab this lady. Sometimes if you go straight for the stab, it just won't connect. So I like to stand there for like a split second before I stab her. That tends to work the majority of the time. Zip across, kick this guy, stab him, keep moving. we got a red herb on the floor. I'm going to grab that and the stuff out of the barrels. I'm going to jump down, and then we've got this guy to get rid of. You can just run up on him. If you want to play it a little safer, if you just wait on the corner of this little hut I'm about to run into, you can wait for him to get a little bit closer and uh, closer and sort of surprise knife attack him if you want to. But if you just run up on him like I did, if you're quite quick through the first areas, you can stab him before he turns around. So when you get to heal, I like to use the snipe, take out... As many of these enemies as I can. I only take three shots, though. I feel like if you take more than three shots, you're not going to have time to run back here and shoot that barrel in time for the brute lining up with it, which is what you want to do. When you shoot the barrel, I like to whip out the snipe again and shoot the brute once with it. I hit him again there because I, I wasn't sure if I missed or not. But Coming up here then, waiting around here or so, you can take some shots at these guys if you want to, but I like to just wait. If they are together like this... Um, You'll be able to kill them both with this explosive that we've disarmed a moment ago. Now we've got this red gemstone. We'll also have a chick that's trying to jump down from the right of me right now. And this guy that shows up. You can SMG him or sniper him if you want to. I'm going to grab a flash and chuck it about here. I like to look down when I'm grabbing this yellow hub and also these items. Because these enemies are stunned, if you just run forward and try and pick it up sometimes the game will think you want to kick an enemy or zip line to an enemy because ada can attack enemies from far away so she'll do that thing where she like zip lines to an enemy and kicks them so i like to look down when i'm grabbing the hub kind of stops that from happening because the prompts aren't on your screen so the game thinks the only thing you could possibly want to do is pick up the item that's in front of you it's kind of annoying when you're trying to pick up the item and it makes you zip away from it and you've got to go back so that's a good way to stop that from happening. I think that also works for Leon as well, which is pretty useful. So when we come in here, we're going to grab the knife that's in that one chest and open the other chest and get whatever items inside. Drop down here. 
you might be familiar with this area because of cabin. Grab that hub after stabbing that guy. Get these two barrels, and then we're going to go through this window. And we can stab this granny in the back right here. Some of you have probably dealt with that before, where you tried to hit the knife prompt and you end up swiping. It's pretty annoying, but luckily I got away with the stab afterwards, which was nice. So I'm shooting that barrel to get rid of those two enemies, and we're going to wait for two more enemies to come through. And these enemies will start running up on you. If they're a bit staggered and not together like they are for me right now, you might want to shoot the one that's closer and keep him by the barrel until the other one catches up and then blow up the barrel to kill them both. We've got one more enemy here that we've got to deal with, and he's going to come through this door. Shoot him when he comes through. Sometimes he may plague us, so be ready for that. You might need to stab him on the floor or wait for him to stand up and get rid of him again. I'm going to shoot that crow just for a little bit of extra loot. But like I mentioned earlier, getting an extra red hub before we get to the first merchant is actually really useful because we have uh, a little bit of uh, extra money towards the upgrades we're going to need. But if you're following along with me, uh, you should be fine even if you only get the one that you're guaranteed. We do find one at the beginning of chapter two that's just always on the floor, but the other one is RNG. So if you don't get it, don't worry about it too much. With the path we're taking, you should have enough loot to get all the upgrades that I do. Um, if not, you can always sell extra stuff, and I'll, I'll talk about that when we get there. I like to put the scope on the sniper for this part, and then snipe that grandma. One thing you'll see me doing a lot is switching between having the scope on and having it off. But yeah, if you snipe that grandma and then run straight across the bridge, you can grab her loot and zip line up before the other two enemies get to you. We're going to zip up here, stab that guy, get this crate, climb this ladder, and whip out the sniper again. And there's a grandma in the distance that we can shoot. Let's get her. And we're going to zip across here. Get the pistol out. We're going to get our first blue medallion just at the end of this platform. You've got to be quick about this, though, because if you stay on these platforms too long, they fall off. So just be quick in getting the blue medallion. There's another one there and also one there. We're going to go up and we're going to snipe this last one. You can shoot that with the pistol if you want to, but I find it's quicker just to use the sniper because you'll end up missing a bunch of shots, probably. Possible to hit with the pistol, though, if that's uh, your style. There's just a much higher chance of missing shots and wasting time and... Even though I tried to make these uh, runs relatively consistent for you to follow, I also like to be relatively fast, so I don't want to take too long. Um, but we're not going to fight anyone that's in the graveyard, just run past everyone and run to the gate. You sh if you take the path I did, you shouldn't have any enemies in your way. Alright, so now that we're here, we're going to run into this little room. We've got a couple of crates, gunpowder, and we're going to zip up onto this roof. We can get this bird's nest down that has a ruby in it. Let's grab that. Down we go. Alright. So, opposite us is a barrel and a yellow herb. Let's grab both of those. And through here. So, in this area, you've got one barrel to break and get the loot out of. There's a bunch of enemies here, but you don't have to fight them. If you just ignore them, they don't attack you. In that little hut, they're sort of walking away from there, the, the first set of enemies. There's a couple more loot spots if you want to get them, but I'm not particularly interested. I'm going to put the two rubies into the flagon that we got earlier here, just before we get to the merchant. Um, we want to sell that with the rubies in it to the merchant, along, as, along with a bunch of other stuff as well. So, So... Quickly jump into the typewriter after smashing these barrels. If you want some extra loot, you can come in here and get the uh, what's in these drawers. And there's also a velvet blue in this lantern up here. Again, if you want even more loot, you can search the room here before you... But just don't go through the final door, because that will trigger the boss fight. So now we're in the typewriter. We're going to combine our herbs. So we've got two fully mixed herbs. And we've got two green herbs mixed together. Let's go talk to the merchant. And we're going to sell him the elegant headdress, the gemstone ring, velvet blues, flagon, uh, one of the small resources, the tactical knife, first aid sprays, mixed herbs, get rid of all that. And we won at least 83,000 pesetas. I didn't have enough here, so I sold all of my handgun ammo. Handgun ammo, handgun ammo isn't really that important because we have uh, the TMP. 
But we want to take the power up to level 4, and the reload speed, and the fire rate up to level 2. So reload it's the power up to 4, reload speed up to 2, and the rate of fire up to 2. And we're also going to go into Merchant's Trade area, and we'll go in to get the um, Black Case. And I think I'll grab something else from there. You might want to have another look. Yeah, you might want to watch that in a slower speed because I go through those menus kind of quick. I know I'm just selling the stuff we don't need to basically get 83,000 Perseus. Um, and I also dropped the save there because we got this boss fight coming up. You want to run immediately to the left here and you're trying to snipe him in the face four times. And hopefully you hit your fourth shot here. This is why we saved it before this fight. We're going to reload the sniper and then shoot him twice more. Try to hit him in the head if you can. And what we're going to do at this point is aim here, because he sh if you've stayed in this position, he should always spawn over there. And we need to hit him three more times in the head, and then he'll get stunned. Hit him once more to finish that phase. And then we need to shoot him about three more times, so one, two, and then we're going to run. So when you've done that and he's hunched over like this, you can hit him one more time to be certain. And we're going to knife over to him. There we go, and SMG him in the face to finish him, hopefully. Very nice. So again, that fight's a little bit technical, I know. One thing you can do if you're struggling, especially with the illusions, is to throw a flash grenade to get rid of the illusions. Uh, you can also use a grenade uh, on the final phase to do a little bit of extra damage to him before you zip over with the knife to stab him. Uh, that's why I saved it just before we went and did that fight. I've done that fight a ton of times, so it, it, I'm obviously, it, you may think, wow, I make it look easy, but I've done it a shit ton of times, so it, it definitely isn't an easy fight to get down, but with a bit of practice, you should be able to do it. I also know that there's green herbs in this area that uh, I didn't use throughout this run, so you should have heals you can use. Um, this damage, this run for me is no damage, but uh, obviously that's not the easiest thing in the world to do. So if you do get hit here and there, you should have some heals you can use uh, to keep yourself going and follow along with me. But like I said, if you fail that fight, if you feel like, oh, I'd, I'd rather do this without getting hit or you died, just make sure you quit out of the game and then load from the save we made. Don't load from the menu. Always go back to the main menu before you load stuff. Don't just press pause and load it that way. I sound like a broken record, I know, but it adds to your time if you load from the pause menu. So all of this stuff I'm doing here is just pretty much looting. You can follow my path. It's a pretty optimal path if you want to get all the stuff. Just there is a flash grenade in the one house. Make sure you grab that. You are going to need it. Although there's a bunch of loot in this area which comes in useful. Make sure you get as much of it as you can. Uh, there's, I think there's one loot spot that I don't get. And that's behind the... Uh, that everyone breaks into when you're playing as Leon, the one you get the shotgun in. But I didn't get that loose part because it's just costing time. I just thought, forget it. it's It's one barrel and I'm happy not to get it. And that's the end of chapter two. So, boss fights can be a little bit technical, especially in the beginning when you don't have upgrades. But that one in particular is a horrible fight. And again, that's why we saved it beforehand. Like I said, if you're struggling really bad with that fight, feel free to just chuck a grenade and a flash grenade to help you out. Uh, they're really useful tools during that fight. Alright, so again, I'm just crafting up a couple of things. Making rifle ammo is pretty important. Before we get to the end of Chapter 3, I'm using the gunpowder and uh, the large resources that we've got to uh, craft the rifle ammo at the moment. Hopefully, you've put your black case on by this point. If you haven't, make sure you put it on. Uh, I did that in the typewriter just before we saved. Alright. I hope you get extra large resources. If you don't have it, don't worry. You can put it on at the next typewriter. It's not super vital at this point, but you just want them to be making extra rifle ammo before the end of chapter three. All right. That was what we got from the uh, the merchant. It was the gunpowder. The gunpowder and the black case is what we want to get. All right. Extravagant clock, key, and the items in the back of the house. The other items that are down on the side of the stairs here will get in a little while because we actually end up coming back here later in this chapter so we'll use the key to open up this drawer pick up the item run away back out of this skip this cutscene immediately run to your right here down 
past this guy at the door, and you can duck under this guy's grab, like so. And then over here, over the explosive. As you come down here, there's a grandma on your right. You're going to want to spray her to stun her. Spray stun this guy. Keep an eye on your right here. I like to have a little cheeky look and see what the grandma's doing. Sometimes she's closer than others. Just sort of be ready for that. Something to bear in mind is that uh, I think in total I used seven saves or something. We're going to spray this guy here as well. He's annoying. And keep following this route and you should be fine. Um, I'm pretty sure I used seven saves throughout this run. So you've got a few more to work with if something's bothering you in particular. Um, you have a total of ten saves in order to get the S+. Plus, so it's up to you if you want to follow that or not. Use your own saves. I tried to save in areas that I personally thought were tricky. Um, but yeah, bear in mind, if you're saving in places that I don't, you want to do that about three times, I'm pretty sure. I think it was uh, seven saves that I ended up beating this in. Okay. Grabbing all this loot then, going into the storage, putting the pistol away, putting the rifle scope away, crafting rifle ammo. Uh, takes 10 gunpowder and a large resource. Here you can switch to the black case if you haven't done so yet. Um, let's go ahead and sell the treasures. And we're going to sell the small resource, the shotgun shells. And then we're going to tune up the TMP twice on the power. That gives us... A little bit more of a powerful TMP, which is useful in a ton of places. But grab the knife here. Run around this bear trap. Don't stand in that bear trap. Stab this guy and snipe this guy. I'm not using the scope here. I prefer sometimes in Ada's run to use the snipe without the scope. It pretty much just becomes a first-person weapon. It's fairly straightforward. I'm sure most of you have played first-person games before. You know how it works. We're going to use the snipe to take out these enemies... If you end up body shotting these guys, just a few TMP shots will finish them off. There's a large resource here on this box as well. So we're going to come through, grab the jacket, and we got some ammo there. Ammo there. Come in here, grab the crossbow. Might need to auto sort in order to pick stuff up. I ended up having too much stuff here, so I had to discard the hub. So I could fit that in. I'm going to unlock this door. I don't want to go through it, but that's just for a little later. We've got a couple more loot spots here. Okay. Gunpowder, nice. You might find that at this point, your inventory is becoming a bit full. So, discard stuff you don't need. Maybe some pistol ammo. I don't use the pistol a huge amount in this run. Uh, usually just for breaking stuff or shooting stuff down. In fact, you can sell it if you need to, but I hold on to it because it is useful in a couple of places, but you don't necessarily need it. You can use the TMP if you want to. I'm going to discard this knife now because I'm running low on space. Take whatever we can. Yellow herb coming up here. Now I've got enough to make some more rifle ammo, so I'm going to go ahead and use a large resource. That'll free up a little bit of space for us. Get these breakables, all the stuff. Examine this. These belong to Luis. And I'm going to go ahead and check this cigarette packet. Is this his then out the door. Once you've spun it around and checked it, you'll get Luis's frequency, starting a conversation with him. And then we're going to come up this way, back up the stairs we came down. And this, these guys will all burst in. This first guy will throw an axe at you. Sometimes this guy just completely misses, but if he does throw, if it does look like it's on target with you... Just shoot it out of the sky. It's way easier than it looks. Trust me. Spray that second guy until he's done. Spray this grandma until she's done. She can be in a couple of different places, but she's always around the door somewhere. Get the bow ready when you come through here and shoot it through the bottom right opening on this fence. And you saw that guy get stuck in the trap there. If he doesn't get stuck in the trap for you or if you don't manage to hit the chainsaw lady, just throw a flash at the floor before you use the valve. That, uh, that bow shot can be a little bit tricky, so if you do miss it, don't worry. Just chuck a flash down and immediately use the valve, and you should be able to just escape. Saves you having to fight everybody there. Saves a lot of time. Really straightforward. But that bow shot, if you hit it right, you can send her flying, and the reason we didn't uh, shoot that bear trap is so that guy would run into it, which is very useful. Okay, so coming out here, grabbing the red barrel from this chest, 
And we've got a red hub and a crate right here. Mendez's toilet. Okay. We're going to open this. Chicken egg in there. Okay. Not sure who grows medicinal herbs in their toilet, but I guess Mendez does, mate. All right, through here and get ready with your snipe because you got a couple of enemies. This is where you first encounter the Plagas heads, as they do. So shoot that guy. They might not die in one shot like they do for me. Um, if so, just whip out the TMP, spray him a little bit, and they'll be done. All right, so reload everything. I'm a bit obsessed with reloading stuff. I'm constantly reloading things. We're going to visit the merchant here and get uh, a sniper upgrade. And we're going to get a case upgrade as well. This one will last us throughout the entire run. But quickly visit the typewriter just to combine any herbs. Anything you might want to sell to him. But mixed herbs are worth 10k, which is why I sell them. Okay. Chicken egg. Herb. Sell all of that stuff. We've got 20k right now. So let's go ahead and get the case upgrade. Okay. I'm not sure what else I sell. I'm going to sell the handgun ammo, maybe? No. But if you need to, if you need extra money, you can sell the, uh, the handgun ammo to get back up to 20k if you're struggling. Okay. So now that we've got everything sorted, let's go. One thing I wanted to explain to you guys, this is all a very straightforward route. Break these boxes, run through the door, grab the golden egg that's on this bed, and jump out the window and up the ladder, and you should be, uh, good to get past all of these enemies. There's a certain technique with reloading that's really useful. I was kind of lucky there. And some of you may have noticed that a, a large portion of the reload animation is basically the character recovering from the reload, like you'll reload your gun and you're done reloading but your character just takes about three seconds to like bring the gun ban back up and be ready to shoot. So if you keep an eye on the bottom right on the numbers that you have when you reload a gun you can quickly switch weapons and switch back and that'll cancel out that animation and that's really useful for the snipe. Like if you press reload on the snipe and then quickly switch between weapons, your reload ends up being faster. And that's very, very useful for Gigante. Just to make your reloads way faster. So I'm using the snipe just to clear up all of these enemies. Fairly straightforward stuff. These guys only take one pistol shot to kill that are on the roofs with the dynamite. So yeah, give it a go. Very useful with the sniper. If you just reload your gun and when you've got the amount that you want in it switch to another weapon and switch back you'll find that your reload will take a lot less time and you'll be ready to shoot straight away as soon as you pull the sniper back out you'll see me doing that during the gigante fight if you keep an eye on what i'm doing with the snipe um yeah you want to reload at very specific points i'll do my best to keep up with what i'm doing uh i'm not sure if i saved here or not yeah, but this is this is a relatively tricky fight, so I wouldn't blame you if you saved. I've got plenty of snipe ammo here, so I'm not going to craft any more. But yeah, if you want to save at this point, I would not blame you, because the Gigante fight is a little bit tricky to get used to. Entirely up to you. Alright, so as soon as we gain control, turn around, zip line up here, and we're going to shoot him in the face four times. Once you've hit him four times, reload. Alright, so... Get your bullets in, you see me switch and switch back. He's doing the slam thing, so I gotta wait for him to stand back up. And there are certain points where he sort of sways back and forward where you can shoot him quite easily. Shoot him twice, and then throw a flash grenade at him. And then I'll give you a couple of opportunities to shoot him again. Okay. So we're gonna reload here, and we're gonna switch to the TMP, empty the TMP into him, switch to the bow. Shoot him once as he's standing up. Reload. Wait for him to take a step towards you and shoot him again. That will stun him. Back to the sniper. Start emptying that into him. You should have to shoot him three or four times here to down him. So one more should down him, I think, maybe. Getting a cheeky reload in. 
if you're struggling at any point and you feel like the building's going to get knocked down, you can chuck a grenade at him to stun him. And you should have a fair few grenades by now. So bear that in mind. Although, also remember, you need one grenade for the next chapter. I'm not even sure what happened to that grenade. A couple more shots should finish him. Oh, he's doing this again. I think we've only got to hit him one more time. There we go. Lovely. Not a bad fight. Could have been a little bit cleaner, but... Uh, yeah, the grenades come in super useful. Explosions just stun him, so... I'm, I'm dropping a save here instead of before Gigante, but again, that's up to you. Fight looks way more difficult than it actually is. But, uh, yeah, I, I find that not using the scope during that fight makes things so much easier. Like, if you're using the scope, it can be really, like, disorientating when you're in and out of the scope all the time. Also on PlayStation and Xbox, I guess. The frame rate must dip way too much when you're going in and out of the scope. It's definitely a problem. Uh, basically, with the sniper scope, when you use it, the game renders twice. And if you know anything about how FPS works, you know that's bad. That's really bad for frames, your frames. So if you ever feel like when you're using the sniper scope, your game gets laggy as all hell, that's why. It's because when it zooms in, it's essentially rendering the game twice. Which is dumb, but it is what it is. Alright. Getting everything reloaded here. Again, like I said before, we're going to need one grenade to get past this next bit. I'm just going to run down, and we've got a crate right here to break. Right, Run out to the left a little bit, and chuck a grenade at the back wall. That should stun all of these guys coming up the stairs. Get ready with the TMP, just in case anyone's in your way, you can spray them and stun them and just run past. Super easy stuff. And then we're going to run through this fire. Keep going. We're going to duck under this table. There we go. And through here, skip the cutscene. We got a little crate here to break. And more crates to break right here. There we go. And up we go. Easy stuff. More break uh, more breakables. Who are you working for anyway? You're better off not knowing. Okay. Trust me. Well, you Let's keep going. Alright, so when you get up here, we need to drop back down uh, a hole in the back right corner to get that chest that we just looked at. You can actually look up from the last set of stairs to zip line up and get it. I didn't know that until recently, but... Yeah, get this. And then go back, drop back down, and back up the ladder. Either way is fine. Okay, just zip lining across here. All right, first. Up we go. We're gonna run straight ahead and stab this enemy. There's another guy down here as well. If you haven't got a knife, be ready to snipe this guy. Or TMP him, it's up to you. Either is fine. All right. Yeah, sometimes you might get to this point and not have a knife. Okay. going and open this crate we've got one of the tablet things we got to get here or lithographic stones selling the pendant the gold bar the velvet blue gold chicken egg resources here we go sell him all of that stuff we're gonna get the blast arrow recipe and the flash grenade recipe and buy one large resource and get the gunpowder that's on the trades as well so let's craft up some flash grenades you want to have four flash grenades for when you fight the knights so i'm making four here so i've got five you might find yourself in a situation though where you've only got three you do pick one up before the knights fight though so something to bear in mind you will need four for the knights all right so there's the other stone grab that 
get what's in the barrel, put these in. So for this one, you need to move the umbrella that's on the left, rotate it once, put it above you, and then move the all the others all around. I, th this puzzle was probably really, really bad, but I only recently got good at it. Um, but yeah, I, it's a fairly straightforward puzzle. But the easiest way to remember it, the easiest way to do that puzzle, is when you put them all in, the stone that's on the left needs to be rotated once and then put at the top. Then the others all just need to be rotated to the right once. Took me a little while to figure that one out. I haven't actually ran separate ways too much compared to the main game. No, also, some of you were waiting for me to run this for the professional run. Maybe you just want to see it or maybe you want a guide. I don't know. I'm sorry it's taken me so long. I was working on my uh, no damage, no save professional S plus no rockets run for the main game. And we recently got that done, which is pretty cool. I actually recently got the no damage, no save run for this as well, which took some time. Okay, so when we come through here, get the pistol ready, we're going to shoot these two snakes. And then the eagles at the back, those are the ones you need to shoot. Get these barrel, all these vases open, smash them. And we've got this thing. I've got a bad Crimson Lantern, grab that. And the game won't let us turn around just yet, but now it will. Okay, let's get the two eagles, I guess. And I guess these are fish, I don't know. Get those. And then get the snakes in the back. you got plenty of time to get those, but just make sure you're getting the ones that are closest to you, because it won't let you get the ones behind the gate. Uh, or, like, you can't open door number two before you open door number one, basically. You need to do them in order. Alright. So, you can save it if you want to before the night's entirely up to you. I just wanted to show you where the typewriter was. Open up all of these. Alright. Yeah, you've got 10 saves to work with, and, uh, 7 chapters, so. So, when we grab the bottle, we're gonna quickly shoot this knight a couple of times so that he stuns, put the bottle in, come round and grab it, and lock those two knights in that room. We don't have to fight those. The ones we have to deal with are down here, and very, very annoying. Put this in. This is one of my least favorite parts of the run, definitely. Alright, let's grab all the stuff in here. Smash these. Alright. Grab that. Back up. So, when these two knights spawn, you want to shoot the one on the left till it stuns. Shoot the one on the right till it stuns. And then go back to the one on the left. When he goes down, kick him. Then get the other one down, kick him. Reload. Throw a flash. Make sure you've reloaded before you throw the flash. Then come over here to this guy. Done him, shoot him again till he's down, kick him, reload, throw a flash, be ready for this guy to start moving, shoot him to stun him, run over to this guy, spam him with shots until he goes down, kick him, reload, grab a flash, chuck it about here, and you're aiming to get rid of that one we just kicked, done this guy, kick him, done the other one, kick him, run for cover, and then chuck a flash out to deal with him. I hate that part. I really, really hate it. Good chance you take a hit from an arrow in this area, so... You know, if you need to heal or whatever, feel free. Okay. We're gonna snipe that one. Snipe this one. Grab the spinel. Make sure you collect all of the spinels in this room. Don't leave any behind. We do need them. Grab the bottle. Put the gold one in. And then we're gonna go around here and open this chest. Grab that. And then dip. Open this up. Slap the silver bottle in. Slap that in. Slap the gold. Alright, and again. And we can leave. Beautiful. Alright. One ingredient left. Alright. I've got some new items in stock. Let's go to the type rail. And we want to combine those herbs, I guess. And we're going to craft a couple of flashes. You need at least two for this next area. I'm going to put the sniper scope back on here. Um, 
and you can save it if you want to. I really don't like this part either, so I saved here. But if you save before the nights, I wouldn't recommend saving again here. It's kind of a waste of a save. Um, you might just have to brave out both of these sections to get them right. Okay. All right, so let's grab these. Green hub here. And we've got a velvet blue right here. Okay, we've got another breakable in this area. There's also a couple more breakables over to the right here, but I don't grab them. All right, so we're going to use the pistol to snipe this medallion. Grab this large resource. We're going to come up to these stairs. Stop about here. Shoot that medallion. And then we're going to get this cutscene, run forward, switch to the snipe. And we need to try and snipe this medallion. It's definitely a tricky shot. Missed it there. You might have to wait till the stun ends. You can sort of see the corner of it right there. It's a difficult shot. There we go. Saves you having to go into a really messed up place in the maze to get it. Let's get these boxes. We're going to reload everything. We're going to take off the sniper scope. And then we're going to jump down here. One medallion that's sort of straight ahead of you there, but we're going to get it on the way back. So be ready to get that medallion. Snipe this guy. We're going to snipe him three times and then stab him. And then we'll, as soon as he goes down, chuck another flash. Start sniping him. Emptying my clip into him here. He's dead. All right. There we go. If you're struggling right there, don't be shy to throw another flash. You can also use the bolt gun or the, the bow or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to come through here. Make sure you grab that flash that I just did. It was on the bottom of the stairs. We're going to spray this guy. Get this loot. Shoot this medallion up up here. Be ready with the TMP to shoot anyone away from you that comes near in this area. And we're going to jump over here, go back, grab the thing that the red cape guy dropped. We got to get one more medallion on the way out. Okay. All right. Grab this stuff. Here we go. Up we go. There's the medallion. Lovely. Let's leave. Easy. All right, we got a little chest here to open. Reload. Dip across here. And there's a yellow hub in this area. A couple of breakables. Zip up. Okay. So just drop down straight away here. Zip across. And drop down again. I should check the load. Open up this chest. Yellow diamond. Very nice. Let's open this. And we've got to do this padlock. I think we get... We have to do... I think it's like the scarab beetle, the skull, the deer skull, and then the lizard. Is what I like to remember. There we go. That's chapter four done, I think. Very nice. Okay, so sort out the inventory a little bit here, saves a little bit of time. A couple of flashes, maybe. I've got 13 gunpowder left. I want to save some for some rifle ammo in this chapter because we're going to need a bit. Um, Again, just checking over everything, make sure everything's fine. Save it here if you want to. Keep track of your saves, though, but remind you've only got 10 to get the S+, plus, seven chapters. You've got three extra ones in between chapters. Okay. So, we're going to come straight to the left, zip up here, open up this chest, grab this, come over here, smash these crates. Very nice. Let's go down these stairs, up, down. We're going to go to our right. Flip this switch. And we're going to drop down to our left here. And there's a couple of enemies we need to deal with. One of them we can run up behind and stab. Just be wary. If you don't have a knife, you're going to have to uh, shoot this guy. But we're going to have one guy running up on us now. I like to snipe him, but if you want to SMG him, that's up to you. Also, it's RNG whether that guy runs up on you or not. And then we got this guy. I like to SMG that one, but... 
how you deal with them is up to you. I just feel it's quicker to use the snipe, but yeah, be wary of them after you stab the first guy, because sometimes the first one will rush you like you did on me. But just be ready to fight that guy. So keep going this way, drop down. And we're on to the sewers. Okay. So. We're going to have a little skip we can use here. I don't mind using skips as long as they're not glitches. Not sure if this was intentional of the devs or not, but doing this saves you a little bit of time. We've got some blast arrows right here. If you stand right here, you can shoot this padlock off. It's locking the door heal. You can use the snipe if you want to. Bear in mind, if you miss a shot, you're going to alert these enemies. So be ready to run around here. I like to use the bow and shoot the one in the middle. That should stun them all. Uh, it may not kill them, though, so be ready to fight. And these guys also like to plague us, which is annoying. But uh, if as long as you're ready, you'll be fine. They're mutating is RNG, so you never know which ones are going to mutate. So again, after you shoot that bow shot, just be ready to keep shooting. And one of them throws axes and one of them has a bow. So just be ready to avoid stuff and take enemies out. You want to use a grenade or something on those guys, feel free. But try to save your flashes from this point onwards. Flash usage, uh, I would say just... Use them when I do, because you're going to need flashes towards the end of this run, and there isn't a whole lot left, chapter-wise. Three chapters to go. Alright, so, shoot these. I grab them. As long as you follow the path and I did, you don't have to worry about that guy with the shield. I like to try and shoot the snake from up top, but you don't want to spend too long up there, because that guy with the shield is, like, coming behind you, so... Be quick to jump down. When you get to heal, you're going to have... Two Novi's coming at you. I like to snipe them, but it's up to you if you want to use the SMG. I just It's much quicker to snipe them, but I wouldn't run forward until you're sure that they're dead. I like to spray this Novi to get rid of him, and then quickly turn and get rid of this guy. If you want to get rid of the guy with a scythe first, that works also. Um, I'll make you feel a little bit safer, because he's rushing up on you while you're taking shots at the Novi. So it's up to you if you want to deal with him first. Just to be a little bit safer there. Get some gunpowder here, but then when you get to here, just after grabbing that gunpowder, there's going to be a Novi that comes from your right. And then when you turn to your left here, there's going to be another Novi. You just wait until you can see their eyes. Makes the shot nice and easy with the snipe. All right, I'm going to put the scope back on now and also craft another flash grenade and some rifle ammo. Bear in mind, it takes 10 gunpowder to craft rifle ammo. Uh, we're going to need... At least five shots, more or less, for this next fight. You can do it in four, but most of the time it takes five. So grab this stuff, open this crate, get your sniper out, put your back to this wall, and try and line up the shot to hit both of these with one. And then if you line the cursor up on the snipe with those crates in the background, you can be ready to get the second shot. And the third shot is quite easy on this Novi. Although... You want to be quick and running away. I like to wait till he's finished his slash animation. And then throw a flash. And you can try and snipe him in the back some more. Don't worry if you don't hit the shots exactly as I do. Sometimes I miss them. And you just want to be ready to... Shoot him in the back. Flash these enemies. At most you want to be using three flashes in this area. I only used two I think. But yeah, three. It's probably the limit. You could maybe stretch four, but... You gotta be quick because of the enemies rushing up on you, and you want to keep them stunned with flashes so you can uh, take out the um, Garados. All right, so we're gonna get all this loot. Make sure you've got the gold bars and the blast arrows that are in that room, and then grab these crates. Get to the elevator, and the enemies that are chasing you will leave you alone. Okay, up we go. All right. If you miss the shots on those Garados, you can use, like, maybe the bow or grenades, but the snipes, definitely a quick way to deal with the two of them. Alright. So now we're up here. 
Which, uh, blow ass elevator, all right. Once we get up here... If you followed along with me, you should have the same amount of spinels, or maybe one or two more, maybe one or two less, depending on how many you get random. But you need at least 25 um, after selling all of the stuff and redeeming all the things with the merchant. So I'm going to put the heavy grenades on the shortcut that I want and go talk to the merchant. You might have to back out completely of the merchant after selling him the fish heal in order to get it to register. And you can see I've got 25 exactly. That means I didn't find any randomly. So we're going to get the uh, exclusive upgrade that's in the trades now. And then I'm going to fill up the crown with different jewels to get 100k out of it. I'm going to put a yellow diamond in this clock. Uh, I don't have anything to put in that bracelet, but I'm just going to sell it to him now. Sell the extra rubies, sapphires, vipers. I'm going to sell him the biosensor scope. Also, the mixed herbs, the first aid spray small resources shotgun shells we don't need and i got 287k we need to buy the rocket launcher now clap that in and we're going to tune up the sniper put the exclusive on it take the power to max level two on the ammo capacity rate of fire is all the way up and then you can sort of spread out the rest if you want i'm also going to buy one large resource just so that i'm buying them off him because he gets one per chapter if you buy him off him. And if you leave him at three, obviously he doesn't get any more. So, all right. So I'm going to craft myself a flash or two right here, maybe. Yeah, there we go. I've got the extra. Oh, no, I made, I made rifle ammo. Yeah, we do need some rifle ammo for this fight. So if you've got enough, make some rifle ammo. I think I made two flashes and rifle ammo there. And uh, I'm just reloading everything, getting everything ready, making sure... Everything's in the right place. I actually double back at this point to go and drop a save. This next fight kind of sucks. Um, not really difficult, but I like to save it here because doing it without taking damage uh, is really, really random. This is actually somewhere where I had to load a save. Um, like I probably mentioned in the beginning, this is a segmented run, so... Get the stuff out of this crate, reload, equip the rocket launcher before we dip line across here. And then we're going to skip the first cutscene, shoot this guy to get rid of him. And then there's a couple of crates in the background for us to get. So you might want to watch what I do in this fight. It's basically just hitting your sniper shots on the weak point. But it's actually kind of difficult to guide you through this fight because there are lots of different attacks that Percenta can do. Um, the first part is 100%. He like funnels into the ground. You can hit a shot on him straight away, like right here. But... For the most part, you just want to try and shoot the weak point. He'll either do this, he'll start climbing the walls, he'll just burst out. But do what you can just to hit the orange part in his stomach. It's not a lot of fun, this fight. I was trying to be careful of the bombs he's laying around me just to give myself a bit of space. Um, but eventually, he'll go back into the ground. Be ready to evade, because when he goes into the ground, he can attack you after three or four shots he'll do this where he goes down i get the snipe back out and try and hit about heal we got a couple more shots should kill him be ready for that evade maneuver this is the weirdest pattern i've ever seen on percenter by the way you want to move when he hits the roof here because he'll dive down on you just keep moving and you should be fine i was praying to god that i didn't run into one of his bombs Okay. Yeah, one or two more shots and he's done, I think. There we go. So because we got the snipe so upgraded, that fight isn't so bad. Uh, but yeah, the, the attacks he can do are so random that doing it without getting hit at all is actually really annoying. It's probably the most reset-heavy part of the run. Uh, but, you know, what are you going to do? All right, so hopefully that fight isn't too much trouble for you. I think if you've got heals to use and you're not really worried about taking a hit or two, it's not so bad. Alright, so up we go. Luis just casually dying. All right. 
So. Back to running through all these caves. Let's zip up here. Little cutscene coming up. Skip that. Zip up again. There we go. Some crates on our left. Missed something. There we go. Peaky heavy grenade. Don't want to leave that behind. Yeah, the heavy grenade pickups are random, which is kind of annoying, but... That again is why I do a bunch of looting, so hopefully you find them yourself. Alright. Let's get this cutscene. Zip across. And there's going to be an enemy here that we want to take out. Don't have to sniper like I did. Just get rid of that enemy however you see fit. Alright, up we go. And we've got some crates on the sides. Let's get rid of them. Head up again. So this enemy that's up here can mutate sometimes. Sometimes he doesn't. Just be ready to run up on him and stab him. Okay. Great. We're going to turn the valve here. And as soon as you turn this valve all the way, you want to move back towards the ladder. You need to be quick on the way back here. As long as you follow my path in, you should be fine. Straight down the ladder. Zip up. And then go for the door. You got to be quick to the door. If you're not, then it, you'll have to go back up and turn the valve again, which is really annoying. So that's why we take out that first enemy before we get up top. The second one you always have to take out, but the first one you can actually leave behind. But sometimes she'll get in your way. So it's a good idea just to get rid of both of them. And it makes your path way more consistent. All right, so grab those blast arrows when we get through here. You want to shoot this enemy and then just run past after she's stunned. Grab the flash grenade that's right there. Wait for this guy to throw his axe and then chuck a flash grenade down. You can get away with just running here and jumping off this ledge, but a lot of the time an arrow will hit you, which is kind of annoying, so I tend to throw that flash down. Alright. So I'll run straight through here. But when you get to the end, if you look at the floor, you can see like this wooden panel square. I like to stop at the end of it. Slap on the scope on the snipe so we can shoot this guy. And then I take the scope back off. I like to stun this guy with a TMP. Snipe him. Turn around. Stun this guy with a TMP. Snipe him. Nice. If you just go for the sniper shot, you can easily miss. And the, that guy's just running up on you and it'll just ruin your day. So, All right. So we're going to run on the heel. If you look up, you can see this beam. That's sort of the safe spot. You can also get the emerald that's here. I'm going to put the scope back on. Get moving again. All right. So, when we get up here, we've got three enemies to deal with. This guy... This guy started shooting super early today. That's the three of them. The one at the top can sometimes plug us, so be ready for that. All right, so get the flash grenade ready. Got a knife here. We're going to combine a hub just to grab that. Look up and chuck a nade over this uh, banister. Try and squeeze past this guy. Up on the top left here, when I turn around, there's another barrel you can shoot if you want to, to make it a little bit safer. But uh, you can also just chuck a flash. But as you can see, that guy with the bow can sometimes still hit you. If you look up, you can see that barrel that was on my left there as you get to the top of the first set of stairs and shoot it, and that'll take out the archer if you want to. That's a strategy that I started doing in my no damage, no save runs, just because that guy can sometimes hit you and it's really annoying to deal with. You get this far and just get hit by an arrow. All right, and then pretty much done with this chapter now. We've got a couple of enemies to run past, but they're not really too much bother. Let's keep moving. Wesker can shut up. All right. Okay. Long, el boring elevator rides, and they didn't even put any music on them. What is that? All right. Let's go. And this guy we don't have to worry about, but we want to spray this guy just to stun him. Keep running past. And there's another enemy here we want to spray as well. As soon as you stun them, just keep moving. 
through this barrel to get the stuff out of that as well. Why not? When you get here, you're safe. I don't think these guys can cross that blue flame thing or something. It's kind of weird, but... Yeah. And then when you pick up the key here, it's the end of the chapter. Very nice. Alright. So... Let's go ahead into our storage and have a little look. We're going to need flashes for the next chapter, so craft as many as you can. Okay, we've got five, I think. I don't have enough gunpowder to make any more. Yeah, the beginning of this next chapter sucks. So I would definitely recommend making one of your saves here. It is not a lot of fun. This definitely took me a few attempts. I actually have a different strategy for it for, than what's in this video. So I'll try and explain it as I go, but... Uh, let me know how you get on with the strategy that's in this video. I'll try and explain the different one as well. We're going to run past this guy. All of this stuff is the same in both of the strategies. So just keep running past these enemies. Stick to the right of this enemy. Keep going. Get your flash grenades ready. And when you run past this rock that's in front of me right now, throw a grenade over at that wall. Get on these enemies, keep moving. If you get lucky, this door will stay open. But I actually got unlucky and it's closed. Um, you can follow along with me to get the timing right on this. There's two enemies coming up on the lift. I think I only snipe one of them here. Yeah, and then turn around and chuck another flash over that wall. Keep those enemies away. If the door was open, like I mentioned before, uh, you can probably snipe both of those guys before you need to throw the next flash. But essentially, you need to keep these enemies away from the elevator because if they get too close, you're not going to be able to go down. I like to look over and snipe this guy. A lot of the time, that enemy will mutate. If he does, go back on the elevator and snipe him again to kill him completely. You want to make sure that guy is dead. I got lucky and he didn't plug us for me there, but if he does plug us for you, go back up on the elevator, shoot him, and uh, get rid of him completely. All right, so I'm buying a um, large resource and also getting the reload speed upgrade for the bow, which is really important. When we get here, we're going to throw a flash grenade. Stun these three enemies, including the brute. So, I think here I throw the flash over the pipe when I get up top. But if you wait on the platform up here, like about here or so, then this guy will come running around. We'll stun him, throw a flash grenade. Keep going, keep going. Get the bow ready. Do these guys. And hopefully, you'll be able to just run past. A lot of the time, that first guy... Uh, get stunned. Uh, but yeah, that, that area really sucks to get right. It's not a lot of fun at all. Um, I was talking about the two different strategies, but I actually used the more updated strategy there, which I was, I'm surprised about. I thought I used an older one, but obviously I had included it in this run, so ignore what I said. That's the, that's the best strategy I've come up with to do that area fast and not have to kill a bunch of stuff. It's super annoying. All right, come for heal. Shoot these two cases, get the bow out, shoot these guys, jump over here. You might want to chuck a grenade at these enemies, because they tend to chase you. I used a heavy grenade, but if you want to use a normal grenade, that works too. So we're going to come up here and run to about here, turn around, run back, go around to get this uh, regenerator away from you. You don't want to deal with him, just keep going. He'll follow you a little bit, but he'll stop around here somewhere and you'll be good to go. All right. So once we get up here, let's open up this cabinet thing. There's a large resource in there for me. And we'll get these two crates. Smash open these. There's a bunch of gunpowder and little pickups there. They're decent. I'm going to come through here. Round to the right. And in here, smash this open. Grab the gunpowder. Go in here and open this little locker thing. And another pick up there. We can get the uh, power fuse thing. All right. All right, let's go. So get ready with the TMP. That was bound to happen. And we're gonna squeeze through these two electric things. And you want to stun this guy to get past him when he gets stunned. Go ahead and run past him. Squeeze through. And you've done that. Come over to the left. You got some rifle bullets here to pick up. 
a little crate to smash. We've got a fridge here to open, pick up in there, crate here. We've got a chest with a golden lynx in it as well. Be ready with either a grenade or a flash. I like to use a grenade here to save my flashes. Chuck it on top of this dumpster. Get the bow ready. As soon as you turn this corner, shoot the Iron Maiden at the end. Reload immediately. As soon as you're ready to shoot, shoot again at his feet. And then you want to try and run past him and uh, leave. Dealing with that Iron Maiden is not a lot of fun. And if you don't get the reload speed upgrade for the bow, doing that really sucks and is super risky. But it can work. I just find it way more consistent to use the... Uh, the upgrades for the bow. Alright, we're leaving. Hello, stranger. Okay. Flapping in the power cell. And uh, let's duck under this and get going. Oh, we're on our way. Alright, so we're going to be doing the... I, I think these are called gondolas. Or whatever. Grab all the stuff we can around here. You usually get some rifle ammo pickups in this area. Right. I think we have a fair amount of rifle ammo at the moment, though. Yeah, I've got like 20 something. Exactly covert, a nine in the clip already, so we're good. All right, so you just need to snipe all these guys. Just try to be accurate. That's the best advice I can give you. You got plenty of time. Also, the guys with axes can just throw for miles here. So. Just be ready. If the enemies are far away, like they are though, you can kind of see their projectiles coming, so I guess just be on edge and ready to parry. My accuracy was terrible here. Keep sniping. Alright. Easy. There's not many left to get rid of now. You do have to use a bunch of ammo in this area, which sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. Get rid of that, dude. All right. Not my favorite so, a couple of pickups in this area. Dumpster to open here as well. More crates. Okay, so... This area also sucks. I would definitely recommend saving it here. After you've done your inventory memes. Uh, yeah, this next section is really tricky to get right. Uh, so be ready to quit and load. It doesn't take that long to do, but the execution can be a bit finicky, so... But it's... Uh, very quick strategy. It takes like a bunch of time off this area. So I made a blast arrow and also some flashes. I need to buy the shotgun here for 12k. We don't need to upgrade it at all, uh, but we do need to buy it. So, okay. So, slap that on a slot. And uh, yeah, I'm going to save it. Yeah, this, this strategy can be a little bit fickle, but... Uh, it does work. So we get the bow ready right here. And we're going to shoot about there. On this turret area. And try to blow it up. If it doesn't blow up, you can use a few arrows. Um, but If you run out or you're getting too low. Like you've only got a couple left. You might just want to quit out and reload it. And see if you can do it like first try on both. I think I wasted one there, which is... That's fine. I've still got plenty. All right. So, we're going to smash these crates. Not fast, it's just money. I'm going to leave that. All right, let's grab the gold bar. So, when you approach this guy, he's going to sprint at you and give you an easy evade. Be ready to evade that. Keep running past him. We need this guy to come with us, so don't kill him. We're going to kill this guy. I'd just like to unload the TMP. He did not want to die there. Reload, back to the bow. Shoot directly at the laser heal. And we're going to come down here, get a flash grenade ready, and wait here. And hopefully this guy charges us. We get to uh, shoot him into the lasers. And then if you just go to the far left, you kind of want to shoot him to the right of the lasers. And run to the far left. You can just run past the lasers, which is nice. Sometimes you can flash him and uh, 
kick him into the lasers, but a lot of the time that kills him. For some reason, that guy is super weak, which is very annoying. But again, that that strategy can really suck to get right sometimes. So if you mess it up, you can just load it up. You're not that far away. Uh, saves you a lot of time in that area as well, which is nice. But going around and doing the normal strategy there is, is just kind of hell. It's really annoying. So doing that helps you skip out a bunch of bullshit. Um... Let me know how you get on with that strategy. Can be a bit finicky though, I know, so it might take you a few attempts. Alright, so as soon as you gain control here, turn around, run away, and turn this valve. And then any kind of explosive at this wall will destroy it. So let's squeeze through the gap now. And that allows you to cut out a lot of this section. Keep going. And he's going to jump us again. Let's turn around quickly. Get going. Head to the code here, which I think is uh, 906. Yep. Okay. So we'll keep running. Turn to your left. Zip up. As soon as it gives you the option... Beautiful. All right. We got a couple of crates here. Keep moving here because of an enemy on your left. Stick to your right running down here and you can just run away from him. You can see he is chasing us, so you want to be quick. So if you move forward straight away after skipping that cutscene, you can just get through that first set of lasers. And you want to crouch and move forward about now on this set. And we've got to do a quick time event to get past this one. Lovely. All right. Nearly done with this chapter, then. Code for this, I believe, is 769. 69. All right, let's now, press this button. How to connect the device. Couple of cutscenes to skip in a second. There we go. Skip, skip. Let's go. Hey, we got some quick time events right here. That knobhead's still following us. Let's go, go, go. Alright, mate. Sod off with you. I'm not sure why I paused it here, but... Up. And again. And you've got to do the quick time event here and also uh, press shift if you're on PC or just the zip button for you usually. That's it. We're done. Beautiful. One more chapter to go. Looking at my storage here. We need flashes, so just make as many flashes as you can. I don't think I'm going to end up using all of my flashes here, but uh, yeah, we need a fair few for this next chapter. It's kind of a shitty chapter. That's why I save it here as well. Okay, so we're going to run straight into this room and smash open these crates, grab the stuff, and leave. We don't need to talk to the merchant right now. Get ready with your flash grenades, and we're going to chuck one over these crates. Shoot open these crates. We're going to run straight through the door. There should be an enemy on the other side of that door, but he got sandwiched behind it. We're going to shoot this guy till he stuns. Run past, get ready with the pistol. And shoot this barrel. Keep running, you need to keep moving. Reloading stuff, get ready with the flash grenade. And when you get to about here, chuck it over these enemies to stun everyone. Don't try and pick up the loot on the floor there. Instead, get this flash, the shotgun shells. Crouch under these lasers. Grab the gunpowder that's on the side right there. And we're going to wait for these enemies to rush us. These dudes were getting a bit close, so I stunned one. Chucked the flash down. And that was a little bit early, but it should be fine. I tried to place a bow shot behind these guys. And again, you need to keep everyone away from the elevator in order to, order to use it. If it doesn't work out, you can just reset. But what you can also try is throw in another flash there. And if, there's, if maybe the brute is a little bit close to the elevator, you can go behind him and kick him from the back and that'll push him away from the elevator 
And that might give you enough time to run past him. Make sure you grab the flash that's at the top of the stairs on the side. You may have not seen me grab it there. Snipe this guy. Grab the beret. Snipe that guy. I like to shoot this guy in the leg and then snipe him in the face. And then we're going to use another flash to stun two enemies that are on our left. But also take out this guy that mutated. He dropped us some gunpowder. Let's smash these open. Bunch of pickups here. I'm just trying to figure out what we're getting. Combine the hub so I can take that. Let's go. Interact with this. Duck behind cover heal. Yeah, ducking in these corners is kind of useful. Um, just stops projectiles from hitting you, and the brutes with their stupid guns can't hit you evil. Alright, let's open this up. Get whatever's in here. Justicia statue. Beautiful. Alright, so... Grab all of the things. Okay. So I'm going to slap the Amethyst in there and sell all of the gems and shit we've got to him. The small resources can go. Mixed hub can go. First aid spray can go. Uh, I've saved a mixed hub and some green hubs for you guys to use. So... If you want to keep them in case you get hit, you know, I, I try not to use all my heals. Because I do stuff, no damage in this run and... You know, I like to make sure that you guys have got some heals because I know that not everyone's going to do no damage. Alright, so I'm just upgrading a few things after grabbing the rocket launcher. You can spread this out if you want to, it's up to you where you spend it. Make sure you get some power on the bow like a couple of times. And the rest is yours to mess around with. Um, I also bought the large resources off him, so I can craft as many flashes as I can. We're going to need some for the end. We need four when we get to the crane at the end. Um, as long as you've got four at this point, you should be okay. Because we do use one along the way in the next area, but you also find one. So look out for those novies. Before you go through this door, make sure you've got the rocket launcher equipped. Give me just making flashes. I just spam them at this point. Don't think we need this many, but, uh, you know. Hit this dickhead with a rocket launcher. Keep going. Get these crates open. More crates. Lovely. We're going to interact here. Zoom in. Interact again. Get this cutscene. Back out. Zip across. And... Get yeah, the barrels. There's another green hub there. I think I ended up... No, oh, I did grab it. I did grab it. Yeah, so I think at this point I've got like four green hubs and a mix, you know? There's some extra heals in there for you lot to use. Make sure you run behind that one bit of cover before making a break for this zip. I'll stop you from getting hit by arrows. And also stop the rocket launch dickhead shooting at you. PMP the sky until he's down. Chuck a grenade or fire a bow. These enemies I whiffed and hit the wall there. That's fine. All right. Be ready to parry these guys or dodge arrows because they can be annoying and just shoot at you. I'm going to chuck a nade over here about this angle to stun the enemy here and then shoot the mine that's behind him just so I can run past him. If he doesn't die like he did for me, he should stun. Keep moving. Get ready with the bow. I need to reload it here to shoot at this guy. The enemy in the feet should get rid of him. I'm going to switch to the TMP. Or the pistol, yeah. Shoot that guy's dynamite. We're going to shoot this barrel. Chuck a flash. Grab all the stuff and keep moving. Make sure you grab that flash that's on the floor. Alright. So, we're going to keep running here. As long as you run straight for the ladder, these guys won't shoot at you, which is nice. Very kind of them. Gentlemen. Up we go. Grab this rocket launcher. Nice. And spray open these crates. And make sure you've got your four flashes at this point. You're going to need them. When you run forward like I do here, you want to try and hit this guy with a bow shot. I hit the freaking the tentacle, which is annoying. But then you want to come back here. Chuck a couple of flashes down. Uh, make sure you only throw two. And I like to wait it out here and see if there are any Novies around still. And this one was hanging out, so I ended up just shooting him out of the sky. 
get ready with the bow. I like to try and hit this guy with a bow shot. It can be difficult. Um, but yeah. The Novis will stay stunned for quite a while. When you get rid of him, use the TMP to shoot the eye on the tentacle. Come across. Zip across here. Make sure you've got your TMP reloaded at this point. We're going to chuck a flash about here. Shoot the tentacle. Chuck another flash. And we should just be able to leave at this point. Dark for cover though. Dark for cover here in this corner. Because rocket launchers may fly at you. I have lost runs to a rocket launcher at this point. And from this point on, you can't get hit. So you're good. You should be good just to run through, pull a couple of switches, throw the rocket launcher to Leon. And uh, GG. Very nice. So, uh, yeah, I hope runs helped you out. I do like putting these together. I'm sorry if you've been waiting for this one. I know it's taken me a while to get around to actually make this guide, and some of you have probably waited very patiently for it. But, uh, yeah, I should have my no damage, no save run coming soon. Thank you for all the support on the Resident Evil content recently. I am working on doing other Resident Evil runs. There's a bunch of them I want to do no damage. Uh, to get all caught up. Let's have a look at our stats quickly. 1 hour 11. 8 saves. Okay, it wasn't 7, it was 8. Alright. So, uh, yeah, good times. I have a lot of fun putting together these guides, and I just enjoy running this game in general. It's a very fun game, but I've been running it for like a year, so I'm probably going to take a little break from running this game and uh, run some other Resident Evil. I do want to come back to it, because there's a couple more challenges I want to do with it, though. Um, but yeah, lots of fun. Lots of fun. I do enjoy uh, making these guides for you guys, so thank you for watching them. I do appreciate it. If you've watched all the way through, and you've used this guide to help you out yourself. Thank you very much. Thank you for being patient. Uh, means a lot. Means a lot. If you want to support me, just go ahead and feed that algorithm by subscribing, liking, commenting. You, I'm sure you know the deal. Every dickhead is asking for these things these days. Um, but also, I stream these runs live if you want to come check them out over on twitch.tv slash iframes. Uh, the link for that will be in the pinned comment below the stream. I'm also going to start streaming on YouTube real soon, so look out for that. Uh, for those of you who are just YouTube boys, I'll be going live on YouTube real, real soon. Uh, so that'll be a thing. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day. And uh, until next time, take it easy.